Hi, everybody. Reese Davis with you, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. This rivalry started back in 97. 1897. It's been a long time that the Spartans and the Fighting Irish have been squabbling, yelling at each other. And in case you didn't hear, they pump up the volume in the battle for the megaphone. That's going to do it for us. Thanks for checking out the pregame show. NCAA college football action coming right at you. Brad and Kirk on the call. David and I are back at halftime. Classic rivalry series that dates back to 1897. And now let's head down to the coin toss. It's brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coca-Cola taste and zero calories. Enjoy everything. Notre Dame lines up to kick this one off, and we're just about set to get underway. He's to the 20. He makes it to the 25-yard line. The quarterback brings his troops out onto the field for the first drive of the game. Heading for the corner. He gets hit out of bounds right around the 36-yard line. When you're running the ball for big chunks of yards like that, you've got something working. From their own 36-yard line, first down. Fires that quickly, incomplete. And he misses his wide receiver there. Yeah, you're right. This is an area that he's worked so hard to improve since day one. The accuracy of his throws. He's improved, but as you can see, he's upset here with himself. Here they come. And a quick throw. Tackle at about the 35. And the wideout gets a chance to show what he can do. Oh, he sure does. And he doesn't disappoint either. Great athletic ability. From the 35-yard line, first down. And down he goes at about the 23-yard line. What is going on with his defense? I mean, don't get me wrong. The offense is doing a nice job with first downs, and they're executing well. But the defense is just letting them maintain possession and move the ball right down the field. They've got to try to change things up with their scheme. Be more aggressive. Attack. Do some things to change it up. Take some risks. From the 23-yard line, second down. Goes right. Picked off. He's on the run. The five, and he scores. Touchdown. Man, that was a super play by the defender. Excellent interception and an even better return for the score. Here! <laughs> 
converts the extra point. Here's an update from the studio and Reese Davis. The football's flying all over the lot in the Big 12. A tight game, two relentless fighters exchanging blows. The Mustangs are on top, 3-0. In other action, the Cardinal coming to the game ranked second, their eyes on number one. This one was tight. Stanford finishes it off 24-17. Thanks, Reese. 7-0 game here. Looks like they're ready for the kick. Fielded at the four. Across the 30. And he's hammered down. Notre Dame's loving this crowd support, and they get it week in and week out. Well, that's one thing they can count on every single time they play in this stadium is creating an environment that's going to allow them to play with an edge on defense. Great start to this game. Now let's see if they can just continue that. So the offense will come back out onto the field hoping for a little better result than that last pick six. Brad, it's very important that this offense put that last possession behind them and just focus on trying to put together some positive plays right now and see if they can put a drive together. Two times, two times. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on their own 31. Owens off the left side. And he's tackled at the 40-yard line. And this crowd is going absolutely crazy. They'll bring him down at the 43. First down. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 43. Sets up a screen. Tailback's got it. Tackle made around the 45-yard line. That makes it second and eight. On the handoff, big hit, and he'll lose yardage. A loss on that one as he couldn't get past those big linemen. You got that right. They sacrificed their bodies in there and stuffed it. Third down again. One of the top stadiums in the nation. This crowd comes to play themselves. That's a great tackle at the 37. Makes this a fourth and very long. Jack is the deep man awaiting the return. He gets out to about the 35 yard line. That's how we do, D. That's how we do. They don't want to know. They don't want none of this. It's going to be interesting to see how the action shakes out in this series. Notre Dame up seven points. He's at midfield. He's at the 40. Brought down at the 26. play like that, I wouldn't be the least bit surprised if they went to the air again. And he's taken down around the 18-yard line. Yardage. 
position to turn the on the play. That makes it second and ten. From the 12-yard line. Second down. Five wide. Throws complete and he stopped immediately. In the shotgun and five wide out. He scrambled. It's a fumble. It's scooped up. They'll bring him down for a loss on the play. It's fourth down. They're going to go for the easy three here. Notre Dame is hoping to make this a two-score game. Kicks up, and it sails through the uprights. Reese Davis joins us in the studio with this update. Reese, the Sooners sitting in the top five and hoping to move up. This is a game we've been watching closely today. Back and forth, they go to heavyweight, slugging it out. And for Griffin, he's punched one into the end zone on the ground. Oklahoma has the edge. 14-10. 10 nothing in this one. Harris is lined up to kick this one off. Owens takes it from the six, and he makes it out to about the 27-yard line. Notre Dame's defense is playing lights out right now, pitching a shot. Yeah, I would not be shocked at all to see this defense be able to maintain this. I, I just the way they're playing, the attitude that they seem to be playing with, if they can maintain the energy and the awareness of this offense, there's a very good shot that they could shut this offense out. They need to show a little giddy-up now, because if they don't start eating into this deficit, they could easily fall out of the game. He lets it fly. Second and ten. So it's second and ten. Ball on their own 27. He's to the 40. He's knocked out of bounds at about the 49. And we've reached the end of one. Ten nothing. Fighting Irish. And we welcome you back to the action here. Just about set to start the second quarter. Check 59. Mike, Mike is 59. Mike is 59. Get there, get there, get there. And he shoved out of bounds around the 44-yard line. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Three down, three down. Check 59. Mike, Mike is 59. Mike is 59. And he makes it out to about the 44-yard line. I don't know if they'll be able to hear his cadence in the midst of all this mayhem. He fights forward to about the 43. The halfback picks up a yard. He'll try to change the field position and especially not get it to the end zone. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. You think about the challenges these two teams are facing. On one side, you've got to find a way to keep building on your lead. And on the other side, you've got to find a way to get back in it. He just blew past the blockers and dragged the quarterback down. Boy, excellent play by the defense here. A few extra seconds, and those receivers might have been open. So the sack makes this a second and long. They come out in a five-wide set. Hey, hey, hey. 
Fires incomplete. <laughs> he threw that ball so hard, I don't think anybody wanted to catch it. Incomplete. Brad, I just think this quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions. And especially when the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football or check it down or take off and run with it. And he can't hang on to the ball. He's taken down at the 45. That's a tough break. Whether you lose the ball or not, it can mess with your head when that happens. It was a pretty one-sided first quarter, but I wouldn't be surprised if things changed in a big way before halftime. He gets out to about the 48-yard line. It's second down, seven to go. Ball on the 48-yard line. Inside handoff. He makes it to the 48-yard line. The intimidation factor is definitely here when you're playing in this stadium. Gets it. He's in space. He's pushed out of bounds at the 42-yard line. This guy has that innate ability to get just enough distance from a defender to make a completion possible. You don't see it from every receiver, but this guy's got it. First and 10, ball on the 42. He fights forward to about the 40. Incomplete, trying to get it to his receiver. So we're looking at another third down here. Listen to this place. Looking for his man, incomplete. Taken down at the 31 yard line. That's a deep line on the ball. That makes it first and ten. This is the eighth play of this drive. Three down, three down. Throws incomplete, intended for his wide outs. That makes it second and ten. It's second and ten. Ball on the 31. He's tackled at the 17. So they go on the ground and pick up another first down. They are stringing together a nice little drive here. If they keep this up, it'll be hard to keep them out of the end zone. And this is the 10th play of the drive. It's caught first down, and he's out of bounds. Good job by the offensive line to pick up the linebacker on the blitz. That gave the quarterback enough time to find his man for a nice game. First and goal from the one. Expect to see something straight up the middle. And he hits him hard at the nine-yard line. Brad, not only did they give up a sack here, but their quarterback just got hit and hit hard. If I'm an offensive coordinator, especially an offensive line coach, I'm getting a hold of my offensive line, making sure these guys are on the same page, and they've got to take more pride in taking care of their quarterback than that play right there. Touchdown, Michigan State!
defensive run by the halfback to find the end zone. Good play call here by the offensive coordinator. He realizes when you get down into the red zone and you have a halfback like this, just give him the ball and let him find his way into the end zone. Here's the extra point to draw within three points. And he tacks on the extra point. A quick update now. Here's Reed. The Sooners come into today's game, the fifth-ranked team in the country. Let's take yet another peek at this game. Check out these two teams keeping it close. The Sooners are out front, 24-17. Well, we've seen some big upsets, and that one would measure right up with the best of them. Michigan State to kick. Caught at the 8. He's out to the 30. Brought down to 39-yard line. You know, we're getting so used to pinball football with a lot of points. Kind of fun to see defenses play this way. Kind of refreshing, isn't it? I mean, every single week we call games and you're seeing scores in the 30s and 40s. This is one of those low-scoring games. Which offense will get that big break? Eventually, it could be the team that wins it. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Notre Dame has a three-point lead. Throws out to the running back. No good. From their own 39-yard line. Second down. Four down, four down. Mike 40, Mike 40, check, check. He's coming. He's in. Ken Boston. Ken Boston. And they make the stop around the 40-yard line. And a nice catch there before he stepped out of bounds. First and ten, ball on the 42-yard line. Gets it out quickly. And down he goes, around the 37-yard line. Hammer picks up about five yards on that hookup. Notre Dame's going to take their first time out of the half. at the 21. Good pitch and catch there on second down. Yep, it was good enough to get him the first down. That's just a nice play. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 21. Outside the goal line. Here's the eighth play of the series. Notre Dame is up a field goal. Quick throw out to the receiver, incomplete. From the one yard line, it's second down. And he converts the extra point. So a nine-play, 62-yard drive. And the result, seven points. The score now, 17-7. Harris has the ball set, and he looks ready to kick this one deep. He's to the 20. They'll bring him down at the 25.
They're ready to start another drive, hoping to duplicate the results of the last one, which ended in a touchdown. So much of the passing game is about timing between the quarterback and his wide receiver. Right now with this offense, they are in sync, and really the timing and execution is flawless. Now he's scrambling. And he's taken down at the 31. So at the end of the half, the Fighting Irish lead 17-7. Hi, everybody. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Davis, David Pollock here in the studio as always to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. David, I'm sure there are plenty of people out there just loving this game. I mean, these two teams are spinning the magic bead all <laughs> over the yard. Big numbers on offense, pitch and catch, run after the catch, all the offense is working. Yeah, I, there's nothing to talk about defensively, but if offensively, if you want to start talking about it, I mean, everything that you're doing is right. And to be able to throw it deep, to be able to throw it short, to be able to make the defense honor every part of the field, the offenses are really in rhythm. They're really in a groove. And this is one of those games that you, you see a lot on the West Coast. I mean, it's just, it's, it seems like there's not a lot of defense, but the offenses know what they want to do and how they want to do it. And the scoreboard just goes. Doo -doo 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 -doo. I can only hope that Nestler and Herb Street will bring the same type of intensity to their call of the second half that David and I brought to the halftime show. Of course, they always do. That's it for us here in the studio. Time to get you back out to the guys for the second half. All right, Reese and David, thanks, guys. Second half action just about ready to start here. Nice kick, plenty of distance. He's to the 20. And they push him out at the 33. We're about set to start things up again. Quick strike, and he drops it. That was textbook coverage by the defense. That's exactly what you want to do on every single pass play, but it doesn't always happen. From their own 33-yard line, second down. He's got it out to his tight end, and he's tackled right around the 42-yard line. And that brings up fourth down. Great stop by the defense. They played with tremendous character on those downs. Coker awaiting the return. He's tackled at the 37-yard line. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. They'll bring him down around the 49-yard line. It's first and 10. Ball on the 49. down at the 46 yard line that makes it second and six and he just gets rid of it down and they need to get it down to the 39. Really a tough spot for an offense to be in against this crowd in this stadium. And he's immediately tackled. 
Fires quickly, and he's got his man. And they pick up the first down with a pass to the tight end. It's easy to forget about the tight end sometimes coming off the line, but you always have to watch this guy because he's certainly capable of making big plays. Nice run, and he's brought down. That brings him second and five. From the 33-yard line, second down. Tackle made at about the 37-yard line. That took a little too long to develop. Yeah, the offense was trying to get the pass rush going upfield, but the defense did a nice job of sniffing out the draw play and hitting them in the backfield. Slings it. That's a great tackle at the 34-yard line. And it's the offense that takes the field on fourth down. Quick throw, and he's got his man again. He's taken down at the 27-yard line. First down. This is the ninth play of this drive. Tries to get around the corner. And he's shoved out of bounds at the 15-yard line. First down. From the 15-yard line. First down. Touchdown, MSU. Punches it into the end zone for the second time today. The defense has to come out and make a stop on the next drive so this offense can get to work again. They aren't out of this game yet. Here's the point after to try to cut this to a three-point game. And he hits the PAT. So a 10-play, 63-yard drive, and it results in a touchdown. Brad, I thought that was a textbook drive. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run and the pass. Just an overall well-executed touchdown drive. Fielded at the four. And down he goes at the 22-yard line. The offense takes the field again. They were forced to punt their last time up. Notre Dame is up by three. And now he's got room to run. He gets to about the 34-yard line. it out to his receiver in a hurry. That makes it second and ten. He's tackled at the 44. three-yard line. Good job by the defense to overpower the offensive line and drop the back for a loss. Harris to punt. And he's taken down at the 32. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. Tackle after a decent run up the gut. That's good for a number of yards. That makes it second and six.
So at the end of the third quarter, Notre Dame leads it 17-14. Into the fourth quarter now, and we're back to the action. Short yardage situation here. It's third and one. Always a noisy place to play and tough on the offense. And he's tackled after positive yardage. That's a gain of four. First down. Gains his way to the 46-yard line. That's good for a gain of nine yards. That brings up second and nine. It's second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. Zips it left. Oh, boy, almost intercepted. They're really fortunate that wasn't intercepted. Not a very smart decision by the quarterback. He had no shot at completing it. This crowd can really be intimidating for an opposing team. And he got it to the sophomore. And they make the stop right around the 38-yard line. the 38-yard line. First down. We've got a first and ten. Ball on the 38. There he goes. He's out of bounds at the 28-yard line. And this play is number eight on the drive. Again with a carry. He's pushed out of bounds around the 20-yard line. That's good for a gain of eight yards. That makes it first and ten. From the 20-yard line, first down. Receiver dropped it incomplete. Terrific coverage. And when you clog up passing lanes like that, you can force a quarterback to make some poor decisions. Almost got themselves a turnover, too. Tenth play of the drive. He tackles him for a loss. He wasn't decisive at all in that option. And once he kept it himself, there was no place to go. It's third and long, and at this stage of this game, they probably have to go to the air. I don't know if they'll be able to hear his cadence in the midst of all this mayhem. Steps up. Deep pass to the end zone. Just under three to go in regulation. It has the distance, and he nails the long field goal. Michigan State ready to kick this one off. From the seven, tackle at the 25-yard line. We might have overtime in the back of our minds, but down on the field, that hasn't occurred to anyone. They want to end this thing in regulation. Quickly to the tight end, incomplete. Horn was the intended receiver on the play. That makes it second and ten. From their own 25-yard line, it's second down. Oklahoma! 
He's on the run. Slides down to the ground. juice on that one and this quarterback sometimes gets a little bit too excited back there and tries to put too much on it he's got to relax and just make a good throw Coker will be the return man Coker takes it at the 32 tackle made at the 46 You've got to be aware that capitalizing on this drive is crucial. You want to take the pressure off you and put it on your opponent. Less than two minutes in the fourth quarter. Makes the catch and gets out of bounds. That catch will keep this drive alive here in the fourth quarter. This is a very critical stage of the game, but this quarterback looks incredibly calm and collected. From the 43-yard line, it's first down. He scrambled. They bring the quarterback down. <laughs> Throws a bullet. The defender had his hands on it, but it's incomplete. <laughs> Third down now, they need to get it down to the 33. They can't hear a thing down there. Just a tremendous job by that defense, and their coordinator did a super job there to keep it this close in this ball game. and now the offense has got a chance to win it. Owens is waiting for the snap. They'll have some time to run their offense, try to move the ball, and maybe have a chance to score. Here we are late in the fourth quarter in a very important and a very tight football game. And who's going to come to the forefront? We'll see who's got the most leadership. And he's level at the 10-yard line. is about three feet away from that first down marker. Nice run there. for a loss. Notre Dame's going to have to use their second time out of the half. From their own 10-yard line, it's second down. Flips it, middle to the running back. Tackle around the 13-yard line. And he didn't have much of a chance on that play. Boy, this defense has a lot of speed. They're all over him by the time he caught the ball. Once and all, going deep. The defense is making great plays here late in the fourth quarter in a tie ball game. And the question now is which offense can rise to the occasion? Harris is the punter. Harris. 
Coker takes it at the 49. He makes it out to maybe the 39-yard line. That'll do it for regulation, and we are going to settle this one in overtime. And here we are. We played four quarters, and we still don't have a winner, so we go to overtime. Inside the 10. Touchdown, Fighting Irish. He makes the PAT. Let's check in with Reese Davis in the studio. The Sooners were ranked number five. The W, they hope, will keep them there. This one reminds me of Mike Tyson and Marvis Frazier when Tyson just ran across the ring and beat him up. That's what happened here. They ran across the field and beat him up. The Sooners thrashed them and take the big victory. All right, Reese, back to our game. From the 25-yard line, first down. right running back's got it and he's taken down at about the 23 yard line that makes it second and eight gives it up the gut they go to the left for a nice game So it's third down now, and they're going to need about four. One of the top stadiums in the nation. This crowd comes to play themselves. Now he's flushed, and they got it. They've been all over this quarterback today. The pass protection has got to do a better job, but give this defense some credit. They've really figured out what they have to do to pressure the quarterback and it cause him some problems. This could be it, fellas. It's fourth down. He gets hit out of bounds at about the 17-yard line. So this one's final. Very well played by both teams today. Notre Dame, 24, Michigan State, 17. As we finish up the broadcast, what do you have to say about how this game turned out, Kurt? You just can't underestimate a team when they're your rival, when today's game proved that. And nothing stings more than losing to the one team you want to beat in overtime. That wraps things up for us for EA Sports and Kirk Herbstreit. I'm Brad Nessler saying thanks, and we'll see you next time.